Happy midnight, everyone, and welcome to Professor Moonshine's Redstone 101. This is going to be a brand new series on the channel where I explain one redstone component at a time, and we can kind of focus on that redstone component and learn all about it. The purpose of this is to acquaint you guys with the fundamentals of redstone. If you don't know redstone, it can feel like there's an entire section of the game that's unavailable to you. You can feel limited in your creativity um, because there's cool machines, and you wish you could build them, but you just don't know how. And I was like that once, and <laughs> to the thank you Mumbo and Iskal for helping me through that. Um, but yeah, I, I want I want to help all of you guys out there hoping to understand redstone with some quick tutorials. So yeah, today's first video is going to be about this block right here, redstone dust. So let's get into it guys. Here we are in my fancy classroom and luckily we have an entire redstone lab through this door. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone dust and a quick building block and just discover what this block is all about. So this right here is redstone dust, and you can kind of think about it like a wire or a power line that takes a kind of electrical signal from one place to another. Let's build up a line of redstone here, and we can kind of discover a few more of its cool properties. Here we have a redstone line that is 15 blocks long, or 16 blocks long, sorry, and we're going to go ahead and connect it to power and see what happens. This provides power, and as you can see, the entire line lights up. Now you might notice, if I fly up, that it's pretty bright over here, but pretty dark over here. That's because redstone has a different sh power strength that decays the longer it goes, the farther it gets away from its source of power, which is this lever. So right here is where the signal is strongest. This is a strength of 15. So if I go into my F3 screen, we can see this is redstone wire and it has a power strength of 15. Here at the other end though, we can see it has a power of one. And if I were to go one block over uh, right here, it's a power of zero. So what exactly does the signal strength communicate to the builder? You might expect that the more power something has, the better it functions, but that's actually not the case. As we can see over here where the signal strongest, we can light this lamp. But over here where the signal is weakest, we can still light the lamp just the same. And this works with all redstone blocks. For example, I might place a sticky piston and it still gets powered just as much as it gets powered at the strong end. The only re way that this doesn't get powered is over here. This is because the signal strength is actually just zero. So there's no power at all. So that's, that's, that's basically it. it. Either there is power or there isn't. So we know that signal strength doesn't have a bearing on how well a machine works, merely that it either does work or doesn't based on if it has power or doesn't have power. Now one thing that signal strength can tell us is some few logic things that we can, we'll go over in later videos, so I'm not going to get into that now. Signal strength can be important, but if you're just looking to do some simple things, just know that either a block is powered or it's not powered, and uh, redstone can travel 15 blocks before it runs out of power. Now let's go ahead and clear our showroom here and let's see what other ways redstone can be connected to different blocks. Redstone can turn corners pretty easily. We can also make redstone go up and down like this on a staircase. One thing redstone can't do is connect through walls just by itself. So if I were to place a block here, you can see these lines disconnect. This part's no longer powered because the redstone can't make this turn with a block in the way. One strange way that redstone dust can connect is by interweaving between these vertical slabs like this. I'm not sure if Mojang intended for this to be the case. In fact, I'm pretty sure they didn't. But as of right now, redstone can kind of weave vertically up and down this way through slabs. And again, I'm doing all of my redstone on Java Edition. Redstone is very different if you're playing Bedrock. So if you're on um, a console or pocket edition. Redstone does not work the same between the different game versions. So I will be doing all Java tutorials. Um, maybe at some point we can return and do Bedrock. But yeah, this is just Java stuff. And this is a Java only feature that it can do this interweaving vertically. Now let's take a look at different ways that Redstone can connect with interacting blocks. By default, this is what redstone dust looks like when you place it on the ground, but you could right-click it to make it just that. This is a relatively new feature, I think it came out just a few years ago, but let's see how this interacts with different blocks. So let's say we place a power source. Uh, that's not going to work. Give me one second. Okay, so for the time being, these are going to be our different machines for showing off these different kinds of redstone. So here we have redstone in the default formation, and here we have it in the right-clicked formation, just a dot. Let's place some blocks around this and see in what ways the redstone interacts with these different blocks. So we've got a piston and a lamp on both of these, and let's, let's turn these on. So here, the redstone connects to the lamp and the piston and powers them. 
but over here it doesn't. And this is kind of intuitive, you know? This one looks like the redstone is leading into the block, and this one looks like the redstone is just kind of hanging out. So we've learned that redstone has to be going into a block in order to power it. It can't just be hanging out directly next to it. Let's take another look at a similar example of the same principle. So I'm going to lay down a quick line of redstone. There's our line of redstone. And I'm going to place some redstone interacting blocks next to it. All right, there's a ton of uh, redstone lamps and pistons, which will interact with the redstone. Now, what do you guys think will happen when I flick this lever? I'll go ahead and do it now. Not a single one of these blocks was able to be powered. And again, this is because as we look at the redstone, it's running alongside the blocks and not into them. So let's see if we can make a different setup that does activate the blocks. All right, let's turn this one on. Now we can see the pistons are pushing, the lamps are turning on, and this kind of matches what we're saying. The, the redstone is now going into the blocks, and so these blocks are receiving power from the redstone line here. So that's it, guys. That's the lesson for redstone dust. Hopefully you guys understand the fundamentals a little bit. Now, what would a class be without a little bit of a quiz? That's right. I'm going to go ahead and set up a little bit of a quiz here, and let's see if you guys can use your newfound knowledge to solve it. So here at the front of the line, we have two redstone lamps, one connected to the red circuit, one connected to the blue circuit. Take a moment and see if you can predict which of these lamps is going to turn on and why. I'll wait a few seconds for that. All right, so let's flip the levers and see what happens. That should not have happened. Bonus points if you predicted that. As we can see, the red line is the one that turned on. So if you guessed red, Correct, good job. You've passed the very first course on redstone dust. If not, no worries, this is a learning experience. So again, the reason that this one turned on and this one didn't is that the redstone is in the state that connects to the adjacent blocks as opposed to the state where it just kind of sits there on its own. All right, so that's going to conclude episode one on redstone dust. If you have any more questions pertaining just to redstone dust, feel free to leave a comment and I will get to all of those, hopefully. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, your homework is to shine on, little stars. Shine on.